Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the video for setting up all of this on a Mac. Um, basically, it is slight, well, it is different to setting it up on Windows, so I thought I'd do this just because it'll make it easier. Um, so what we're going to install are, I guess, four things. Firstly, uh, Brew, which is basically a package manager for Mac OS, which just allows you to do loads of stuff in the terminal. Basically, just install programs using the terminal. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, then we're going to use Brew to install Python 3, which is just the version of Python we're using. And that'll include um, pip and idle, which are two important things. Pip allows us to install packages for um, Python, like krpc, the thing we're going to be using. Um, and idle is basically just an editor that allows us to write Python and run it fairly easily. Um, yeah, so if that all sounds a little confusing, don't worry too much, it'll all be clear, you just have to basically do what I do. Um, and then we're also obviously going to install the KRPC mod for Kerbal Space Program. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a terminal window, uh, just by hitting command space obviously, and then just terminal, hit enter, and you'll get yourself a terminal like this. It'll probably look different for you, maybe white with black text, it'll probably open smaller, I have mine all customized because I use it all the time. And uh, I know for some people, um, you know, terminal can be a little, you know, command line stuff can be a little intimidating. But don't worry, it's just running commands. Um, just do what I do and you'll be fine. So the first thing we're going to want to do is install brew. Um, we're going to want to run this command. I just have it saved here because it's a long command. Um, I'll put this in the description. So just, you're just going to want to copy and paste this um, and put it in the terminal. Control V, well, command V and hit enter. And that'll run that. Um, it's going to ask you for your password. Uh, so that it knows it's you, um, and then you're all good, I think. <laughs> that should just install. Uh, you'll see lots of this text. Um, I actually already have it installed, so yours might be slightly different, but I'm not sure, actually. It should probably just look like this. And basically, it'll just say somewhere like, install, installation successful, we're all good, everything's amazing. Alright, so once we've got brew installed, we need to install Python with brew. Um, it's called homebrew, by the way, but the command is brew, so I just call it brew. So you're going to want to type in brew install Python, Python 3. Now, macOS, I think, already comes with Python 2.7. Um, that is actually quite different from Python 3.7. Um, so make sure you get Python 3, because they are different. Um, so yeah, hit that, hit enter, and that should install Python 3. Yay? Yeah, look, it's doing something. Um, so that'll get us, uh, like I said, Python, um, which is obviously the actual la programming language, pip, which just allows us to install libraries into Python. You might not understand what that means right now. That should become clearer over future tutorials, but all you have to know is it allows us to use the KRPC code in our programs. Um, so yeah, that's done. Um, so now that we've got Python, we can just check that by typing in Python 3 version like that hit enter and if it says python 3.7 you got python installed and let's do the same with pip actually just to make sure everything's installed and it's not pip it's pip 3 um is that a version yes we've got the right version of pip uh, pip 10.0.1 um or just whatever version basically as long as it says python 3.7 at the end you're fine anyway we'll clear that um i'm just hitting con um, control l by the way to clear my terminal um you can also just type in the word clear um anyway so now we're going to want to install uh, KRPC itself, the actual uh, plugin for the code that allows us to run code that plays Kerbal Space Program. And that's as simple as typing pip3 install KRP, ooh, KRPC. So we're just going to do that, and that's going to install it. Um, apparently I already have KRPC. Yours will probably say, basically something kind of looks like this, and it should say uh, installed KRPC successfully. In fact, let me try and uninstall it just so that we can... Um, see that properly uh, just to confirm things yeah that would remove that oh I'm hitting the wrong button I didn't see that thought it had finished I'm just gonna hit yes so that's uninstalled so now if I type pip3 install um, krpc ooh, it should do this there we go it should look like that um, yeah I already have it installed because obviously I've already used it uh, and it'll maybe say something like this at the bottom of your command don't worry about it it's just complaining about versions of pip doesn't matter Anyway, so yeah, once uh, that's all done, um, you're actually done with all the horrible terminal stuff. I know it can be kind of intimidating, but if you did what I did, you're all good. 
Um, you can check your versions, I guess, like I did there. And just to make sure, I guess you can type in idle3. This runs idle, which, by the way, is the uh, kind of standard editor that comes with Python. If I just run that, that's going to open up just like a graphical window. And this is where you write your Python code. Um, you can use whatever editor you want if you have a preferred one, like PyCharm or something. But this is basically just a text editor. We can type in code here, and um, it'll, it'll run... Uh, Ooh, that's not right. <laughs> uh, and it'll 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 run in the little terminal over there. Um, yeah, let's just call the test. I know I already have one. Of course, I have a test. That's what I call all my first files, and that'll run the code. Um, but for the actual coding bit, you're just gonna want to go back to the main video and check that out. Uh, but yeah, if that all works, that's good. I'm not actually exactly sure how you access this in just Mac. Like I, I haven't been able to find idle. But you can just open a terminal, type in idle3, that's probably not ideal. Maybe you can figure it out if you know Max better, but yeah, so I guess what you would do from here is just go terminal uh, like that, and then just hit idle3 every time you want to use it. Might be kind of inconvenient, but you know, it's easy enough. Make sure you type idle3, by the way, because if you just type idle, you're going to get the wrong version. It's really clearly different, though. It looks like shit, but that's the wrong version of Python. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's installed. All of that horribleness is over. Now we can install the mod for Kerbal Space Program, and that's the final part. So, we're going to want to open up a little uh, little Google Chrome window, or whatever your browser is. Um, and we're going to, basically, just we're going to want to type in KRPC. Google that. This will take us to a bunch of shit. Uh, we want this page. I'll link this in the description. Most stuff that I use, I'm just going to link in the description, so it's just easy if you were like, oh, where did he get this, or what did he do here? There'll probably just be a link in the description to make it easier. Because um, this isn't even the right page, you want to go to C release thread. Um, I know most of you probably already know how to find and install mods, but I'm going through just like everything, you know, just in case you haven't done it. It just makes it so much easier um, when everyone is just on the same page. Uh, we're going to want to go to Space Dock to download it, or you can go wherever you prefer to download your mods, but I quite like Space Dock. And we're going to hit download, and while it's downloading, we're going to notice that it says it's an outdated mod. Yes, it only <coughs> it's only known to work with uh, um, KSP 1.4.1? No, 1.4.4, um, the last version, but not 1.4.5. That doesn't matter too much. Um, basically, we're just going to have to revert our version of KSP just by one. I'll show you how to do that as well. We're going to open up Steam. Don't know where Steam is, I guess just... <laughs> I don't usually game on this computer because it's, well, it's my work computer. Um, <laughs> oh, it's uh, actually also running out of battery, as it tends to do. Um, it's going to get real loud. Anyway, yeah, so that should be Steam opening up. Oh, I'm going to block all the names just so you can't add me, because, you know... <laughs> Make sure I do that. Remember that, Peter. Remember to hide your name or you'll get a million Steam requests. Hey, RimWorld 1.0 is available. Go get it. It's amazing. Anyway, so yeah, we've downloaded the mod now. You can see I've done it a couple times before because I tested this. And what we're going to want to do is, the first thing you're going to want to do is re revert your version of KSP. You can see I've already done it, previous 1.4.4. This is really easy. You just right-click on Kerbal Space Program, hit Properties, go to Betas, and yours will be like this, I guess, um, probably. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is just drop this down, hit 1.4.4, hit Close. It's going to download that. You can see it's already started. Um... I guess I changed it twice just then, but yeah, so it'll it'll download, like, it'll be like an update, but it'll be downdating it, I guess, technically. Um, and yeah, and once it says previous 1.4.4 next to it, you're good. And then we're going to want to install the mod, so we're going to go back to properties, go to local files, browse local files, um, and here we are. Uh, you want to go into game data, and you can see I already have the mod. Oh my god, I prepared this terribly. Let's move this to trash. <laughs> Pretend I didn't have the mod there. You should probably just have a squad folder. Maybe squad expansion if you uh, bought the expansion or got given it for free like me. <laughs> I'll never stop bragging about that. Um, anyway, uh, so yes, now we're going to want to install... We're going to want to grab the uh, actual thing, the mod itself. Um, I'm just going to open up this. Um, I have a weird zip symbol because I have a proprietary zipping software because I need it for something really esoteric I do for work. Anyway, yeah, so you're going to want to open up this game data folder inside the KRPC folder and just copy this and put it in here, and that's that. And that's everything. You've got the KRPC mod installed now. You can run KSP and boot it up, um, and then you're also obviously going to want your uh, idle editor open so you can start writing code. So, of course, again, that's just hit terminal, idle3, and you're all ready to go. Run KSP. And now you're just going to want to go back to the main video, 
Um, and of course, new file. Just, yeah, there we go, all again. You're going to want to go back to the main video and just follow on the steps from there, you know? And that should be fine. I hope this was helpful. Uh, it might not have been as polished as the one for Windows, because I don't use Mac a lot, and I have to do a lot of terminal stuff. Um, and also, it's not the main video. But I hope it was helpful. I really didn't want people on Mac to be like, oh, God, I've got to figure this out myself. Because it was, as you see, quite different. It's all... I mean, you don't have to do it all in terminal. It's just way quicker. And also, get used to a terminal. It's a nice... It's a nice... It's a useful tool. It's really great. Anyway... Yeah, that's that. I uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, go back to the main video. I'll put a time code on screen now. Go find this in the main video. Um, and then, then you can watch on from there and write the code. Write your spaceship code. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, 